we are back with another episode of Fat Pimso on Nikki's HD. Still, I am the real Mickey. Probably I sound to Mark is my name. You don't forget to subscribe, you like, you comment, plus you share for others to also get. And do the same thing as you did. In today's video, I want to present to you the person that owns the internet. Have you ever think of the person that owns the internet? And do you know the person that owns the internet? Yes. I'm going to tell you. Yes. We are about to talk about this. Yes. In every institute of this Ghana here, or Africa, Asia, Europe, America, both of the South and North America, and uh, I think Antarctica, no one stays there. Yes. Every continent of this world, like Australia is included, Everybody needs the internet. We use internet in everywhere at the hospital, soldiers, please. Every everybody needs the internet in our education system and everywhere. But who wants the internet? Do you know? No. Oh yes. I'm about to tell you. In natural terms, no one owns the internet. And no single person or organization controls the internet in its entity. More of a concept than an actual tangible entity. The internet relies on a physical infrastructure that connects networks to other networks. In theory, the internet is owned by everyone that uses it. So, this is how it is. The internet is owned by everybody that uses it. And have you ever think of the person that owns the internet? Yes or no? But for the person that began the internet, yes. Somebody is there. There are two people that began the internet. Let's react to that. But you wait. No one owns the internet. But there are some two people that began the internet. Oh, yes. These two computer scientists, Benton Kaif and Bob Khan, are credited with inventing the internet communication protocols we use today. And the system referred to as the internet. So these two people began the internet, but they don't own it. No one owns the internet. So, and... Have you ever think of the things that we do on the internet? Apart from you going to the internet, watching videos, searching for things, or the other stuff, what are some of the things we do on the internet? On the internet, these are some of the things we do over there. We share pictures and videos with our friends and family. We watch movies, TV, and adverts. We listen to current classic radio programs. You play checkers or bridge. You play laws, more online games. Find out what you are staff is worth. And we build our own jumbo jets over there. So these are some of the things we do on the internet. And apart from using phone to access the internet, apart from using phone to enter the internet, what? Are some of the things we used to enter the internet. Mm -hmm. Let's check that one too. So, there are some three major things we used to access the internet. Apart from this, you cannot use anything else to enter the internet. Oh, yes, we use laptop, we use desktop computer, and phone. Apart from these three things, there is nothing that you can use to access the internet. So, this is how. It is nobody owns the internet and nobody controls the internet. The person that controls the internet is the one that is using the internet. So it is me and you that owns the internet and we control the internet. But there are some two people that began the internet, which they are Benton Kev and Bob Khan, who began the internet. So I am bringing the curtains of today's video down. So, I am the real Mickey. Don't forget to subscribe. You like, you comment, plus you share for others to also get and do the same thing as you did. Please share. Yes. If you haven't subscribed, you click on the notification bell. You click on the subscribe button. You click on the comment side. You type anything that will come to your head. And make sure that it is sensible. And after that, you click on the like button too. Please, I beg you, 
God bless you. Thanks to all the subscribers. Thanks to everybody that was subscribed to. That was subscribed to. Sorry. We shall meet again. Film Nessie.